Hey parents, welcome to Goof and Giggle. Thank you for joining me in the playroom. As you can see behind me, we've been making Valentines today. How many of you are making Valentines? Or doing these kind of Valentines and having your little ones print the back of them? Is that tedious or what? We have a four-year-old in the house and writing her name that many times is very exceptionally good for her to do and very patient for her to do and all the names on the other side but it's really fun to pick those out and the first valentine party she's so excited and my other granddaughter who was just adopted from africa two years ago she's having her very first valentine party at school she was on video with me last night and she said last year she was homeschooled so she didn't know about valentine parties so she said valentine last year but this year first valentine party so it's really fun for her so what do we do with all these valentines do you want to be a super mom tell you some secrets here so you get all these valentines and they want to play with them i don't know about you but ours came in a pack of 32 and the four-year-old's class only has 14 in it so we've got a lot left over so I got to playing around with them today so some of these games are for older children and I'll give you a couple of games for the little ones too <clears throat> so first of all these are kittens and puppies all of these Valentine's that I picked out I know frozen is the thing this year but we did kittens and puppies for this <clears throat> so the first thing that you could do very easily is take two of these out of every design and place them upside down on the floor and let the kids turn them over one by one to see if they match. So these are a match. When they get a match, then their memory game, whoops, they're a match. They get to keep this match until all of them are gone. So the, the hard thing with the little ones, of course, is they want to open it up and see if that's the right one before they turn it over. But no, 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 can't turn it over yet. Just gotta, gotta remember. So that's the first game, memory game. That one's easy. The other one is shuffle them all up and just let them pick one, kind of like go fish, only they just get to pick one and see when they're all shuffled up and see if they match. And that one you can go ahead and leave all four of each design down because it doesn't matter if there's two or not. So you can also, also play go fish with them. So you keep out like sets of these for how many kids there are. So if you have three kids, you might want to leave three of them out or whatever but you leave one that's the fish. So I would probably take this little doggy and make him the go fish um, or the one that, that I'd like the old maid, you know, kind of thing. So play old maid with it. So you can play gold go fish and then you can play old maid only it would be little doggy. And you take out all the other cards that match this except the little doggy. So they, you try to find, you don't want to be holding the little doggy when all your cards are gone. So go fish. Um, memory game oh and you can play slap them <clears throat> so like slapjack you know when you have all these cards and you divide them up evenly and everybody turns one over and they see if they match and if somebody gets a jack they slap it so if they get this doggy then they get to slap that one or slap the kitten or whatever so you would have to come up with um, values though so maybe put a four on this one and a three on this one and a two on this one because then you can play war. So then you you slip them over just like war and the one with the greatest value gets to keep those. So then you can play war with them. Are you getting my drift? So it's all the children's card games only with Valentine's. And when you don't have, when you have the ones home from school too, then you have even more Valentine's to play the game with. And then a couple of easy things for the kiddos that, um, you, that aren't really a, a card game with rules, but you could take this one and cut it into puzzle pieces and then let the little ones come and put them together and see if they can match them. So you could make three or four puzzle pieces. Mine came with stickers. So you could use these stickers to match them with the cards. So again, it would be a matching game for the little ones. Find the little sticker that matches the big card. So that would work too. Um, there is a top and bottom match. So you could cut this one exactly in the bottom or in half. <clears throat> Do that with four or five of them and your little ones can match the top and the bottom to put them together. So kind of like the puzzle, only much easier top and bottom. Play top and bottom. 
Let's see if I missed anything. Oh, there's one more that's really fun. You can also decorate them, of course. These also came with little heart stickers, so we could take those off and decorate the cards even further or use the little stickers to decorate whatever. So we've got several games going. We've got a matching game, but I think the funnest for like the two-year-old is gonna be when we hide the cards around the house. So I'm gonna take them and put them under the, the, under the couch cushions, under the piano, under the toy box, and we're just gonna play hide and seek, kind of like gathering Easter eggs. So it's gather the Valentines. So when the four-year-old comes home from school tomorrow, we might want to add her cards to it too, so she can play with her cards plus the cards that I bought. So just some really simple things. It's going to make you queen of the day. <laughs> to be able to play these games with your kids, you're going to be super mom. And it will get the kids kind of down from the busy day of Valentine's, but give them some more fun to play with Valentine's in a different way. So I'll see you later, and thank you for joining me at Goof and Giggle.